it's just a beautiful day here in Southern California. There's a breeze, there's just a little bit of chill in the air, but the sun is shining, the mountains have snow, it's really extraordinary. And so I'm just gonna do a wander in my veg garden. I'm not going to do any gardening. I'm just gonna take a look with you and see what's going on. And soon I will be out here again, but I've been so busy with the family that I really haven't paid much attention. So let's see what's going on. It looks like the lettuce has done well. Um, I think I'm probably gonna have to harvest this very soon because you can see here, that this little lettuce here needs to be harvested because he's getting a little brown. So they're ready to go. Now, this is a little Brussels sprout right here. He's growing, but growing very slowly. I don't know what to say about that. The beets, I'm gonna have to dig some of them up and just see what's going on. I'm not sure. They, they don't look to me like they have produced much, uh, underneath, but I don't really know what's going on there. Do I feel anything? No, I don't really feel any beet. Now the carrots, what? Hold on, look. Can you see? There's a big carrot there. I don't think I've ever grown a carrot that big. Hold on, I'm gonna pull him out. Well, I was just going to do a wander, but I got so excited about the carrots that I had to pull some out. And now I'm really excited. I mean, they're a substantial size and this one's really big, but look, yikes, I should have pulled them earlier. So I'm going to pull them and maybe I'll use my daughter's kit that she gave me for Christmas, the fermenting kit and do some canning, some canned carrots or something. So this has been a fun surprise. Let's see what else we have. This is the arugula, which has done quite well. And I have harvested some of this. We had some arugula in our Christmas dinner salad. So, oh, the sun just went behind a cloud. So that has been pretty successful. Again, here's another set of beets. I just sort of pulled up one of the beets on the other side. There was no beet. There was literally no beet. So I don't know what's going on here. I don't really feel much of anything down there. I'll have to give you an update on those. This Brussels sprout looks like it's doing a little bit better. Now, what about these onions? Hmm, they look like they're doing okay. I can see that they have their little roots growing. Maybe I'll pull one of those up, hold on. Here's the onion grouping that I pulled up and you can see that you know they feel like they'd be pretty good little green onions with the little but they were supposed to be this kind of an onion right the Sierra Blanca which were bulb onions so I don't think they exactly turned out the way they were supposed to uh, but that's okay I'll use them as green onions. I'm sure they'll be delicious. Here's the cauliflower, and this is really the only one that has a real cauliflower on it. The rest of them have long stems, but have not grown any actual veg on them. I don't know if they will. Here's the problem. I wasn't very, I have not been very scientific about checking for maturity. In other words, I know that the onions, you know, the maturity is 100 days, but I didn't go back to check exactly the day that I planted them and, you know, check at 100 days. And maybe if I would have done that, I would be more clear about, um, you know, what exactly should be harvested when. For example, let's take the last piece of my veg garden here. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at this. Do, 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 do. This is the broccoli. So something went wrong with the broccoli. My daughter said maybe it's broccolini, but I don't think it is. I mean, look, all of my broccoli has this broccoli on it, but it's not a broccoli head. It's a tiny little broccoli. I don't know. That doesn't seem right. I might just harvest all of these tonight and have some lovely fresh broccoli with the chicken parmesan that I'm thinking of making. 
But look at how tall these stems are. See, they're like, gosh, almost two feet tall. And of course, this one, it has this huge, huge flower on it, is probably three feet, four feet tall. So the broccoli, I would say, was only 40% successful. <laughs> We will get some broccoli, but not a broccoli head the way that I had expected. So all in all, you know, it was a fun season for the garden. I'm gonna get some carrots, some lovely lettuce. Not sure about the beets. Um, and maybe a cauliflower. <laughs> so <laughs> I will try again. And when I harvest more of this, I will let you know. So that was the wander for today.